Hey YouTube, Mickey. Okay. Had a email message from um, Alex. <clears throat> Sharp Skoner 2. I think that's what how you pronounce it. Um, Sharp, then S K O N A 2. Uh, hi Mick, loving the adventures and survival product reviews videos that you are putting out coming from the bush I can really relate I was wondering whether you might be able to put out an a urban EDC survival backpack video with your thoughts on contents and what you might carry I'm a union student studying paramedicine what's paramedicine anyway paramedicine good on you sounds pretty good who travels two hours each day from the country to the city in Victoria I have a 511 Rush 12 backpack, a pair of Leatherman Raptor shears, which covers the, the cutting essentials. I wish I could carry my Benchmade Trage 915 in the city, but obviously we can't. Other than that, it is just a stethoscope, books, and a little first aid kit. I would, it would be really cool if you could put out a video sometime, as I'm sure there are other viewers in the same boat keep up the awesome content cheers well first of all thank you brother um, and mate I'm gonna do one right now for you so um, before I get started I've packed out my 511 rush 12 backpack so we can obviously relate to the same backpack um, but I'm guessing I'm trying to think what situations would we be in um, in an urban situation in regards to survival uh, I'm just trying to think of some scenarios. Um, first thing that comes to mind is, uh, you know, you're at uni, you may be stuck in the lift for some reason. Um, you're on your way to the travels, the train breaks down. Um, you're on the way back home, the train breaks down. Some thing might might happen in the city um, similar to 9-11 um, some outbreak happens uh, friggin tsunami warning is announced um, I don't know who knows it there could be a million things that could happen so I guess my answer to that and what I'm going to show you is just again what I basically carry myself in my car at all times or in my EDC little bag, my haversack bag, uh, which obviously is not to the full extent of what's in the Rush 12, but uh, I'm generally commuting within my car all the time. I don't catch public transport, so most of my stuff is in my car. So um, there you go. So let's take you over to um, the uh, workbench. Sorry about the uh, my little tarp thing on the on the table here I'm been doing work and it's all crap now but anyway all right let's start off what which what would be in my pocket at all times so obviously wallet would be in my pocket with some cash but obviously more so cards okay uh, my Leatherman wave never ever leaves my person no matter where I go so I've got my cutting tool there um, Important to me is self-protection from whoever. Uh, I've been rocking with the Pentagon survival capsule. Um, you know, on top of having some fire making stuff there and a compass and a mirror and all that kind of stuff, um, the tip is more so what I'm using for self-defense and also the actual hard-bodied uh, aluminium or whatever it's made out of casing. Um, plus the, the lanyard uh, kind of acts as a single kind of nunchuck. Um, obviously would help if you had some martial arts kind of experience to utilize one of these things, um, which I do, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, you wouldn't want to crack someone in the head with that, okay? Just first off the bat, because you just might cause too much damage which will which will make which will basically make you get in trouble um, but there are certain ways you can use this on the body to 
protect yourself and yeah get out of the situation so maybe that's another video I don't know but anyway some sort of a device for self-protection now these are very very hard to get your hands on so I would suggest a tactical pen okay or a tactical torch would do the same job okay so straight off the bat protection cutting tool and obviously your ID wallet and money and stuff like that secondly personally me car keys always got a ferro rod on there always got a 25 lumen torch on there I got my Leatherman uh, what is it the juice squirt sorry Leatherman um, squirt I got a pen and I got my uh, you know my emergency seat belt uh, kind of cutter slash um, glass breaker which will be sold on my website very very shortly glass breaker is a this is a great glass breaking method you don't have to uh, actually use force and bang it um, you simply just press down on the glass and the glass will shatter instantly and I'll try to do a demo on that so that's what's on my person okay so let's move that aside and let's get into the, into the pack so this is my rush 12 um, starting off on the side sunnies okay gotta have some sunnies um, you know just because you, you just need sunnies so I carry sunnies um, go to the top pocket here and it's pretty much my lighting so um, mate you know if you're finishing uni late starting off early you know you want you want lighting okay um, so there you go extra batteries and a decent lumen torch I think this is about 180 or something like that okay this can be used as self-protection has the part there and also has the part there plus um, you know if you are being tormented by someone in the dark give them a quick flash in the eyes and uh, you will blind them for a few seconds which is key give them a whack somewhere and just leg it or something like that I don't know so anyway lighting very important stuck in an elevator lights go off you got it lights go off in your uh, dorm or your room or whatever you're studying in you got a torch where probably everyone else doesn't um, you need to get home in the dark the train breaks down you got to walk it you want a torch with you Ugh, no brainer so torch okay and spare batteries um, in the back you know me I'm always thinking of shelter okay now not shelter in regards to setting up a shelter and sleeping at Hyde Park in the city or some park but you know if it's pissing down rain and you've got to walk home because the trains broken down or it's just pissing down rain carry a good quality poncho so I'll, I'll carry a good quality poncho and you know the weather changes i've got a packable jacket okay just for that extra clothing and comfort so it's yeah, pretty as simple as that really in regards to uh rain protection and uh and weather protection um break into the main component bag okay water gotta have water gloves why gloves I don't know it just comes in handy okay um, scenarios someone's injured themselves they're bleeding everywhere and you, you're out there to help them you know you don't want to get their blood on you just in case wear these gloves yeah you can bring the surgical um, medical hospital gloves that's fine and since you're studying kind of medicine um, you know you probably have your hands on that so but uh, I carry a good pair of working gloves um, in my bag at all times um, Shamag I love Shamags there are at least 20 30 uses for these things um, again clothing protection you know protection against the weather um, again you might wound yourself you might find someone wounded this thing can also help them um, there's many many reasons for it but carry a shamag um, for example okay the iPad 
you know, I don't have a real skinny laptop, maybe you do, but uh, got your iPad in the bag, no brainer, you're going to uni, you need some sort of iPad or, or laptop with you. So, that's pretty much it, I mean, um, nothing else really to carry there, um, obviously, if you're packing your own lunch, put your own lunch in there, and stuff like that, or if you're buying it, you buy it. Um, but, you know, in saying that, water. You know, I suggest getting some of these uh, mainstay emergency uh, drinking water satchels or sachets, 125 mils each one. Okay, so I got a litre. Right, no, sorry. I got um, no, I got half a litre of water right there. Sorry, maths and space. Um, so just emergency drinking water saves you for you know for purifying water and stuff like that. Again, if you have to hike at home for some reason. Unless you've got some water there to keep you hydrated. Along with that, just some snacks. I've just got some trail food. You know, light, easy, kind of kind of filling and good for you. So, that's that. Oh, I should leave that out because that belongs in my car. Um, this other section, I mean, I'm going to, I've just got some Ziploc bags and dental floss. I don't know. Might be a sexy chick stuck with you in the elevator or something. You got dirty teeth, give them a clean. I don't know. Great cordage also. Um, okay, so front top pocket here. Medical. Okay. You mentioned you carry a first aid kit. Not too sure how extensive it is, but I would recommend carrying a compression bandage all the time with you. Um, obviously not for snake bites because you're in the city, um, but sprained wrist, sprained ankle, um, you know, whatever, it's, it's useful. And again, medical, don't even, don't always think for yourself, think for others. Someone might injure themselves pretty badly, grab one of these, I could be bleeding, you know, this will stop bleeding, um, depending how deep the cut is, but at least you've got some, you know, I think there's about three meters worth or four meters worth of uh, compression bandage and that so very very useful item to have um, I'm starting to carry um, what they call it again women's pads they're made to stop bleeding or hold the or hold the blood so it doesn't bleed out okay I'm trying to be I'm trying to be as Good, good a way as I can, but uh, man, carry a few of these, man. They'll stop a, a deep wound for sure. Stop the blood in its tracks. So carry um, one of those. Um, just band aids and you know, general first aid. Hold on, let me open it up. Yeah, so band aids, uh, electrical tape. Carry electrical tape, man. Electrical tape is one of the best things you could ever have. In my eyes anyway so electrical tape um wound dressing and some band-aids that's pretty much what's in there where'd my ranger band go there um so that's just an example of some medical stuff there painkillers um just some just some paper with some survival notes on there more related to the bush and a emergency blanket you never know you might need it you might find someone there in shock or something wrap that around them we all know what these are good for so you know carry that in your medical kit um i've got some more of the uh women's pads and a fresnel lens just in case you need to see something closer or you uh need reading glasses and you lost them you got something there and the good old lip balm okay so that's what I would suggest you have for your medical kit in your pack. Again, not only for you, but for others. And then in the, uh, the main outside pocket, we've got this. So um, notepad, take a notepad with a pencil, no brainer. And I would suggest some playing cards. Just, I don't know, you might be bored on the, on the train. Your phone battery might die, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just good to have, I think. So, 
I carry a deck of cards most of the time with me. But they're always in the car anyway. Poo tickets, blow your nose, whatever, gotta have them. Um, <clears throat> in regards to technology, I would recommend getting yourself a GoPuck. This is the one that will charge a mobile phone five times, would probably charge your iPad two times, um, digital cameras and stuff like that, maybe two, three times. Great device. Um, and keeps its charge for a very long time. I haven't charged this thing up and I've got still three three lights flashing which basically means three more charges on my mobile phone. So great thing to have. Um, okay. Get some sort of priver. If I was you know, commuting on a train and in elevators all the time and stuff like that. I would want some sort of pry bar to pry those friggin' elevator doors open or to pry the, the roof of the elevator open just in case you got stuck and no one knew and you, I don't know, for some reason you have to get out yourself. Um, there could be a fire and the doors are blocked or something. You know, pry that friggin', friggin thing open. This is just an example. Um, it's not the strongest thing in the world. Obviously you want a full tang one piece of metal pry bar which would be great so i'm sure you can find that online but the concept is i'd, I'd carry a pry bar if you're uh, based at uni and you're stuck in a city um you know five days a week six days a week seven days a week that's just my recommendation pen no brainer spare torch just you know two torches I actually got three, one on my key chain, one in there, and one there, so can't go wrong with too many torches. Okay, my Kizla Supreme survival kit. Yes, it's got food recruitment, you know, being snare wire, fishing gear, um, fire making, um, you know, water purification tablets, a compass, uh, whistle, mirror, sewing kit. Blah blah blah. Um, I don't know. Just carry it, man. You just never know. You just never, never know. You might want to sew something up. You might go there and you split your pants. You might need to sew those things up so they don't embarrass the shit of yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just I think it's, having a survival kit with you at all times is great. There's nothing wrong with any any items in here. No one's going to bust you for it. No cops are going to complain. Um, you got your sail needles. You got your cordage. Man, you know, it's got everything in there. And I'll still need to do a review on this, sorry. So, and I will get to it. Um, whoop, they all came out. Get back in there. Okay. Carry a survival kit. Um, <clears throat> glow stick. Or like a lamp kind of light. Um, no brainer. You're hiking at home. It's in the dark, you're walking on the highway, turn these lights on so no freaking car smashes into you. Um, tip, if you are walking along a highway in the dark, don't walk where the cars are coming behind you. Walk on the other side of the roads where the cars are coming in front of you. Okay, That way you can see them um, in case they are veering off the road and about to make your body into mincemeat. So um, just my suggestion there. Mixed tip of the day. So, glow stick and a little kind of lampy torch. Okay. Um, okay, face mask. Just because in an urban environment, um, not that this will kind of protect you from a serious, serious outbreak, but may give you some sort of protection from airborne kind of, you know, liquid... Um, diseases out there and stuff like that um, you know dust you know fire maybe not that it's going to give you a lot of protection from smoke but it will give you some sort of protection I'm also dust and uh, debris and stuff like that just I think having some face masks is, is pretty important in the city um, okay CB don't always rely on your mobile phone um, I'd recommend carrying a CB it's always going to work. It's always going to be a channel as long as you've got batteries. You know, if someone's on 
on the other side with the CB, you're going to hear them. They may hear you. More chance you'll hear them. Um, and just search each channel to pick up someone. Um, especially on the highways, you'll pick up the truckies on channel 40. Um, so, yeah, really good item to have. Probably suggest a 5 watt CB. This is only a 2 watt. It's a piece of shit, but uh, I am in the market to buy a 5 watter. That is, I've got a 20 kilometer um, distance in regards to reception. So, if you can get a 5 watter with at least a 10 plus kilometer distance, um, I would get one of those. But, CB. Cordage. Why cordage in the urban environment? I don't know. Just cordage is. It's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uses. Well, not hundreds, but it's got heaps of uses. Um, I don't know. Just carry cordage, man. You just never know when you might use it, when you might need it. So I, I recommend having cordage. Get yourself a uh, Sawyer Mini water filter or some small water filter. You just never know what could happen and you may need to purify some water. The tap water may be, um, may be dirty, you know, contaminated. Um, oh man, look, you know, water is, is the key to life. So carry something that can filter at least, you know, a thousand liters plus whatever. Um, you know, you've got your own little water pouch and uh, the filter itself. So um, no brainer there, you know, carry water. If the water is dirty, you've got a means of purifying it. Um, I've just chucked in my little open L, carry a little knife or another knife, just, just in case. As Dave Canterbury says, two is one, one is none. The cops aren't going to fucking do anything to you carrying a little open L like that. You know, more so the one-handed ones they will. But this is not one-handed, it's a little open L, man. You cut your apples with it. You cut your, you cut your fruit with it. You cut your cheese with it. I don't know, man. Just carry that. They're not going to do shit to you. So carry a spare little knife. Not that I don't have any cash on me right now because it's in the bank. Um, what little of it it is. But just for example, 50 20 and $10. Let's pretend that's a $50 note, $20 note, and $10 note. Carry some cash in your bag. Um, yes, have it in your wallet, but I would back it up with some cash in your bag. Just in case some low life scum life prick comes and robs you, takes your wallet. Um, but then, you know, hopefully you've still got your bag on you. At least you've got some cash to get home or, or things like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, keep some cash in your bag. Mate, that's pretty much it. Um,